welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I had planned to do a DIY sweater tutorial. I have it all shot, but I just did not have time to edit it. Life has just been crazy, and so I just didn't have time to get to it this week, but I didn't wanna let you guys down. I still wanted to post my video every Thursday like I normally do, and so I decided to upload my makeup and hair routine, which I actually posted this on my IGTV a while back. So if you haven't seen it, it's new for you and sorry if you've already seen it. But speaking of my Instagram, I love it if you guys would go over there to tiny underscore acorn and follow me on Instagram. I love posting content every day and stories and sometimes I even have closet sales on there. So yeah, I'd love to see you over there. So I hope you guys enjoy this makeup and hair get ready with me routine video. I don't normally post videos like this. It's kind of a rare thing for me to post, but I will be posting next week a very, very exciting come thrifting with me at the flea market for home decor. Like I said, life has been crazy and my husband and I have been going through so many changes we actually have some really, really exciting news that we're going to announce on my video next week. So don't miss the video next week with my husband. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hey guys, so for today, I wanted to post a quick little get ready with me video. Some of you guys have asked me in the past how I do my hair and my makeup. And so if you're interested in knowing, make sure to stay tuned. Now I'm gonna just show you how I do my hair every day. I use a one inch Conair curling iron. I usually start at the front and the top near the root and then I kind of gradually pull it down. And then I drag it down like that. So I kind of want, I want more of a wave and not so much of like a perfect curl. And then I always go away from my face and sometimes I don't go all the way to the end, sometimes I do, but basically I just drag it down to kind of stretch the curl out. And I go all the way around my head. Also, I do not wash my hair every day, um, probably like every three days. And my holy grail product when I don't wash my hair is dry shampoo. This is my favorite dry shampoo. It's pretty cheap. You can get a three pack for $15 on Amazon. I'll link it for you. And I just spray it in the parts of my hair that are oily and just rub it in real good. And then I'm good to go for the rest of the day. I love that product. And when I first found dry shampoo, I'm telling you, it was a game changer for my life. I was like, how did I not know that this stuff existed? Okay, so the hair's all curled and I just sort of fluff it and pick it apart with my fingers. And then I check it to see if there's anything that I want to kind of touch up. This part feels a bit too curly, so I'm gonna just flatten it. Okay, I think it's pretty good. So I realized that on a consistent basis, I use about four hair products. Um, one is my new wash shampoo. The second is this leave-in conditioner. The third is my dry shampoo. And this fourth product is my R & Co Badlands dry shampoo paste. So I take a little bit of this, my finger like that, and I rub it together. And then I just go up towards my roots and I push, push it up. I'm just trying to build a little bit of body there so that my hair's not so flat. And I especially do this right after I get out of the shower because, okay, this hair is bothering me after all. Recurl it. Perfect. Okay. And then once I do that around the crown of my head, I'll take a little bit more and I'll kind of like go throughout my hair, kind of just put it in a little bit and it makes it look less perfect, which is kind of my ideal. I want it to look more 
sort of tousled. And that's what I do. I will use hairspray a little bit if I am like going to an event or something like that, but normally I don't hairspray it. Another thing I might do is if I am going to an event, I might use my IGK texture spray. This stuff is pretty great, but you definitely don't want to overdo it on this because it'll get, it'll make your hair super crunchy. Well, not super crunchy, but like, just gives it like that extra volume and stuff. And I find that if you put that in at the beginning of the day, the curl will pull better because it's texturizing spray. So as you can see, you can see the difference. And I just kind of Like I said, I don't use this every day, only for special occasions, also because it's kind of expensive. <laughs> All right, so hair is done. Now I'm gonna just show you my super simple makeup routine. I honestly use the same products every day. So let me show you. Start out with my moisturizer. Right now I'm using this Burt's Bees moisturizer. It's actually a night cream, but I've been using it in the daytime because it is winter and my skin gets really dry. In the summertime, I use this Superfood Air Whip Moisturizer by Youth to the People. And this is like kale, spinach, hyaluronic acid. It's super environmentally friendly and natural and all that good stuff that you want. But like I said, I'm using the Burt's Bees right now. So just put a little bit of it. So some of you guys may have seen my testing foundations video on my YouTube. I tested the Kosas and this is a tinted oil foundation. I got it in uh, the color four. Anyways, I've been using this a ton in the winter time because it's just really moisturizing for my skin. I felt like my skin was kind of drying out before. So before this, I was using a Bare Minerals foundation. As my skin has changed in the winter time, um, just with moisture levels and also the color of my skin has changed, I found that this Kosas one is working really well for me right now. So I'm gonna use that. This brand is also really great. They have a ton of different tints. They are natural. I really can't say anything negative about this brand. So I just do four drops in my hand. Then I just take a little dab, apply on my face, rub it in. And then whatever's left, I put on my neck. I'm kind of one of those people that I don't really care what kind of makeup I use. I just use whatever I have or whatever's given to me. Benefit gifted me some things, so that's what I've been using lately. And I do like their products. This is the Boing Hydrating Concealer Stick. And I just use a little bit of it under my eyes like this. And then I have a little age spot there, so voila, cover that. And then I just kind of blend it in. Okay, my next step is I'm using this NARS palette that my friend Arissa from Valley of the Dawn gave me. It has a bronzer and the famous orgasm blush. So I just take my brush on the bronzer and I just do a little swoosh on each side. Do a little on the forehead. And then under here because I have this cute little boop, little extra little pouch there. So put this on it to kind of contour it. All right, and then I just go in with the same exact brush because I don't care. Put on the blush. All right, so for my eyebrows lately, I've been going in just with brown eyeshadow. I have this Lorac palette here, so I'm going in with you guys don't care. Corduroy is the color. I'm going in with it. I'm going in! You guys, this is really hard to do. I'm literally using like the camera screen as a mirror. <laughs> so I'm gonna put the eyebrows on and then I will get back. Eyebrows check. They are done. Okay, next step, eyeshadow. I have literally been using the same exact eyeshadow almost every single day for the last 
two years. You know what it is? It's actually blush. It's this little palette that I got from Sephora. I'll put the color down below, I'll link it. I just take my little fluffernut brush, fluffernut, and then add it. You guys, I'm not a makeup expert. <laughs> Please don't take my word for it, okay? I'm honestly so boring when it comes to makeup and I feel like I have forgotten how to do eyeshadow, like fun eyeshadows and stuff like that. And I used to do like a cat eye all the time and now I'm just like, that takes way too long and it's honestly so crooked all the time. So I just add a little bit more down here. This is just like what I do every day. I don't know, there's something about this orange color that I quite like. I love how you guys are getting to see my wrinkles. It's so great on my little crow's feet. You guys, I am 33 years old. I am almost 34 years old. So, I have these little wrinkles to prove it. Only have a couple steps left. Mascara. If I'm feeling extra fancy, I will curl my eyelashes, but I don't do this every day because it can often lead to broken eyelashes. And who wants broken eyelashes? Not me. So I usually only do that for like special occasions. I am using this. Mascara that Benefit gave me. It's called Roller Lash. Thank you, Benefit. I've been really happy with it, actually. And if I'm not using this, then I am using L'Oreal, the tube with the gray and the gold. I'll link both of those for you guys. But um, this is a little more expensive version of mascara if you have the money to spend on it. If not, just go for the $8 one, L'Oreal. That is like my holy grail mascara. It doesn't flake, it doesn't smear, and this one's pretty good too. It doesn't flake or smear either, so both of them, I think, are good. This is way closer than I actually wanna be with you guys, so I'm gonna put this on and then get back. Okay, mascara is done. Next, I'm going to put on a little bit of glower just to highlight certain areas. This is High Beam from Benefit that I've been using lately since they sent it to me. I just go in in a couple areas, um, nose, Funny, huh? I'm gonna kind of blend that in. And then I drag it up. And then a little bit right here. At corners of the eye. Under the eyebrow. I don't want like too much there because I don't want it to be like a, you know, super glowy. Okay, and then shwink, shwink. And then I just rub it in real well. Okay, the only thing that I have left to do is lipstick. Let's just do my normal because I wear this all the time. This is my NYX in the color Morocco. My friend Arissa gave this to me. She gave me like half the makeup I wear all the time. Um, it's a pretty bright color. But it's fun and I think that my face just looks better with bright colors on it. There we go. All right, my makeup look is complete. Remember when it comes to makeup that you really are truly beautiful just the way you are. You don't need any makeup. And what makeup is there for is just to enhance your natural beauty and enhance your features that you wanna celebrate. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that get ready with me makeup and hair routine video. And I'm gonna link everything down in the description box for you guys. That way, if you're looking to pick up anything similar, you can. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys next week for the exciting announcement. Yay! Can't wait to tell you guys. See you guys later. And remember, you're beautiful just the way you are. Bye!